What do sec and bitch mean in this sentence? I am reading a book on life lessons, and the author quotes one of Charles Dickens's characters, Sarah Gamp, from his novel, Martin Chuzzlewit. Sec is life. Vich likewise is the hand of all things. I didn't understand it. So I googled the sentence, read the whole paragraph that includes it, and came to realize that the sentence was likely to incorporate misspelled words on purpose probably to represent something about the character who said it, but that was all. Here are my research and best guesses. I looked up the wiktionary and found out that hand is the old form of the verb grasp. But, it still doesn't make sense to me because hand is used as a noun in the sentence. I thought maybe sec was such, which makes the first part such as life if it's true, I understand that. Likewise is probably likewise. Never have I figured out what vich means. Never could even I guess what in the hand of meant. If you could help me understand what sec, vich, and in the hand of mean, or suggest what you think the original words of those if they were purposefully misspelled, it would be greatly helpful. Thanks for reading. P.S. Here's the whole paragraph that has the problematic sentence. Talk of constitution, Mrs. Gamp observed. A person's constitution need be made of bricks to stand it. Mrs. Harris justly says to me, but t'other day, oh. Sire Gamp, she says, how is it done? Mrs. Harris, ma'am, I says to her, we gives no trust ourselves, and puts a deal o' trust Elsevier, these is our religious feelings, and we finds m answer. Sire, says Mrs. Harris, sec is life. Vich likewise is the hand of all things. Dickens is applying what is known as I dialect, in which a writer uses non-standard spellings to indicate and draw attention to a non-standard pronunciation. This is to be distinguished from so-called newspaper respelling, as it is not intended to represent someone's pronunciation or usage accurately. Rather, it is a caricature that brings attention to the speaker being other to the narrator, perhaps someone from a different region or socioeconomic background, someone who is not a native speaker, or simply someone who mumbles or otherwise speaks carelessly. Dickens uses a great deal of I dialect, as does Mark Twain, who included this explanatory preface to Huckleberry Finn. In this book a number of dialects are used, to wit, the Missouri Negro dialect, the extremist form of the backwood southwestern dialect, the ordinary, Pike County, dialect, and four modified varieties of this last. The shadings have not been done in a haphazard fashion, or by guesswork, but painstakingly, and with the trustworthy guidance and support of personal familiarity with these several forms of speech. The use of I dialect reminds the reader that Huck is a boy from rural Missouri, but also that Jim and Huck have a social distance that their personal intimacy does not bridge. In Martin Chuzzlewit, Mrs. Gamp is a disreputable character whose speech is spelled to mark her as having a non-standard, lower-class accent at the time of publication and perhaps as drunk on top of that. The whole passage you quote is full of i-dialect and non-standard grammar, for example. Constitution, Constitution justly says, just said other, the other's eerie, Sarah Helsevier, elsewhere a feelings, feeling sick, such bitch, which. Likewise, likewise hint, and. Even knowing that, what she is saying is difficult to make sense of, which Dickens' narrator acknowledges. The barber gave a soft murmur, as much as to say that Mrs. Harris's remark, though perhaps not quite so intelligible as could be desired from such an authority, did equal honor to her head and to her heart. This is a printed representation of dialect, not proper written English. It is meant to represent the actual sound and accent of the character speaking. There is no consistent way to convert dialect representation to standard written representation, but in this case, the standard written representation of the words you're asking about would be such for sec, which for vich, likewise for likewise, and for hind. Similarly, there is elsewhere for elsevier and feelings for feelings, and there are corrections to grammar that could be made as well. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.